Apple's iPhone 8 is the first smartphone to support 4K recording at 60 frames per second. This feat is even more impressive when you consider that the cheapest Canon capable of this costs $6,000. More affordable is the Panasonic GH5, which also offers 4K60 starting at $2,000 without a lens. We decided to test how well the iPhone 8 Plus can keep up with this $3,000 combo. In our first scene, we can see that the iPhone 8 Plus has pleasing colors, but the GH5 is more true to life. At first glance, the iPhone looks to be more detailed, but that's due to the higher contrast settings. If we crop in, we see that the GH5 is clearly more detailed. However, the 8 Plus has impressive dynamic range with even more details preserved in the clouds. In our next clip, the GH5 shows more detail, but the iPhone has a more accurate white balance. In this scene, it was the opposite, with the GH5 showing colors more true to life, although the 8 Plus's colors look more pleasing. Because of all the detail in this shot, the iPhone's lower bitrate is causing compression artifacts. But other than that, both clips look really similar. We can also see compression artifacts here, especially on the rocks, but the iPhone stacks up remarkably well, with more accurate white balance. In this last outdoor shot, the GH5 beats the iPhone 8 Plus in every way, including detail, contrast, and colors. The difference here is huge. Moving into a low-light environment, the difference becomes more noticeable. The GH5's noise pattern, color accuracy, and highlight roll-off is vastly superior. In this shot, the iPhone's noise reduction makes a 4K look like 720p, where the GH5 preserves plenty of detail. Even though the iPhone had good color accuracy outside, in low-light, color reproduction suffered. The noise is also going wild. Here, the iPhone is struggling with consistent exposure, which causes a distracting flashing effect. Switching to the telephoto lens on the iPhone 8 Plus, in a regularly lit environment, the detail and noise difference is even more apparent. Shooting this carpet, the difference in detail is massive. Comparing background blur, the GH5's larger sensor and superior optics allow for a blurred background, where on the iPhone, everything is in focus. Switching back to the wide lens and a better lit environment, the iPhone's footage starts looking more like traditional 4K and stacks up surprisingly well. Lastly, let's compare stabilization. The GH5 is one of the best on the market with its combined sensor and lens stabilization, and the difference is clearly visible when walking. Standing still, the iPhone gets pretty close, but the GH5 is still smoother. Even though the iPhone didn't fare well in low light, we were really surprised by how well it compared in our outdoor shots. Some of the tests were so close it would be hard to tell in a blind comparison. Apple is clearly taking big steps forward in camera technology, and those investments paid off in the iPhone 8 Plus. However, while the iPhone video quality comes closer than ever to the footage shot on a professional camera, it's not quite there yet. Let us know your thoughts about the comparison in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.